are if you're like me and you're missing teeth it doesn't matter what matters is who you are as a person we're coming into a time where people yes people suck okay let's just be real people suck okay they don't like fat people they discriminate against people based on how they look they don't give people a chance but let's be honest do you really want to be with these people hello everybody hey girl what's the tea hello all my beautiful queens and welcome welcome I'm trying to keep my titties from being out in this video hello everybody welcome welcome to another video if you are new welcome if you're not new hey girl oops so I need to tell you guys something okay I know there are some of you guys that just absolutely hate me and are watching me and waiting for the day that Chris leaves me. <laughs> um, I know some of y'all don't get it because y'all are just looking like, what? Yes, girl, read my emails. But something that Chris does that really aggravates the bejesus out of me, yes, bejesus, is that I buy particular things for a particular purpose. For example, I literally spent, I'm not even going to tell you how much, buying this thing specifically for my phone to hang on, girl, so that we can do these car chats without me being crooked, without you not being able to see me. Like, I specifically bought a light, a phone, caddy thing, like everything, right? Lo and behold... Chris was using it to watch TV while he drives. And which I've asked him several times not to do in my car. Do that with your own car. I digress. And he broke it. And now it doesn't work. And I just bought it. And it's so frustrating because it's like, hey man, don't use my stuff. If you do and you break it, replace it so i've been probably two or three days without doing a car chat i actually filmed a couple of car chats but they were angry ranting car chats and i just didn't feel like dealing with the blowback from it i mean i could turn the comments off but girl what is the point of that there's no point in that you know um but anyway hello everybody welcome to another video listen if you are new welcome if you are not new welcome back my name is joy and i am a plus size woman of color i'm on the larger side of plus i let people know that because even though a lot of you have seen me before and you watch me you wouldn't believe it but we get about um about 25 percent to 30 percent new viewership uh, we get unique impressions and unique viewers, which means these are people who are clicking on this video, choosing to watch this video for the very first time. So they want to know who you are, what you do, and they don't really know, and they might not even watch another video because they're not quite sure what you do. So that's why each and every video, I kind of give an introduction and I tell everybody what it is that we do. So for those of you who've been with me for a while, I love you guys and I appreciate you and thank you for bearing with me. So right now, girl, I'm in fur, girl, I'm hot. So listen, let me just tell y'all. So I'm in Atlanta. So if there's any rich daddies, well, never mind. I'm in a whole relationship, girl. I just I just remember when I was younger and I would go to a new city and it wouldn't be long that I was in that new city and I'd find me somebody that'd be like, hey, you know, let's go out. You knew, let's go out. I don't know, I, maybe I just had something in my face that said that I wasn't from around here. And so it would always be somebody who wanted to take me out. And girl, you know, if it was going somewhere to eat or get a drink, I was going. Now, if you just want to go sit in your car, no. But if you want to go somewhere, absolutely. Absolutely. 
Yes, Zaddy with a Z. But anyway, so hello, everybody. Thank you so much. I really, 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 really appreciate you. And I just want to say thank you, you guys, for watching and supporting. And I know that some of you guys just don't understand it. And I know that some of you guys are the most miserable and negative people in the whole wide world. But you know what? I've chosen to live my life on the internet, out in the open. And so I have to take the good with the bad. So current, so I'm, I'm not worried about the negative. I may mention it sometime, but for the most part, I'm I'm happy like um I got a um let me show you I got a grande iced coffee sugar free vanilla Splenda and some cream which I just found out that the creamer that they use at Starbucks has bad stuff in it that I didn't know about and it actually has carbs in it. Who the hell knew that? And for some reason, even though I'm turning on my air condition, my heat is still coming on. So I'm trying to figure out what the hell going on around here. Hold on, y'all. Let me get it together. There you go. I think that's it right there. So it's raining, but I'm sitting outside the Lenox Square Mall. Um, and I just went and had a really great brunch date with Bay, And then I went and took care of some business because, you know, no matter what, I'm always working. I came out this way because I wanted to go to the mall. Um, after I leave here, I'm going to try to see if I can make it to the Brando because I heard they have some busting wings and your girl wants to try their wings. So if y'all are up at the Brando, hey girl, what's up? Who taking your girl out for lunch? Hit me up. If you in Atlanta and you want to see me, I want to see you, girl. What's up? <laughs> So I wanted to talk to you guys. As you can see, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a car chat. Bay is shopping. I said I wanted to go to the Linux, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm really trying to get control of my spending because my spending problems, like listen, I love to pay my bills, all of that. But sometimes my spending is emotional, just like my eating. Like my eating is something that I really want to be disciplined with, not just eating a lot of food, but my quality of food choices and just taking care of my body inside out. Like I want to take care of myself with what it looks like for me. So I, I backslid a little bit with my food plan, but I'm looking to get back on track and I got something really exciting coming up in the next couple of months. So I'm definitely trying to get fine. Okay. As wine. Okay. Even outside of the summertime, even though everybody talking about how it's big girl season, let me tell y'all something. Uh, hello, it's big girl season 365. You better get you one. But let me tell you something. Don't be getting big girls because you think she's gonna cook for you. Don't be getting big girls because you think she's gonna be um, she's gonna be washing your clothes and she make love to you all night and she keep you warm. I think that's why sometimes Chris begin aggravated with me because I'm on Sprite. I'm not cooking. I'm not washing clothes. Girl, it ain't nothing but ketchup in my refrigerator and maybe some honey mustard and a little bit of lettuce. It might be an onion. That's it. I'm not cooking. I'm out here trying to collect these bags. I'm working. I'm a working woman. So listen, don't be don't be sticking all those stereotypes on our plus size women. Plus size women don't have to let you drive their car. Plus size women don't have to let you stay at their house. Plus size women don't have to wash your clothes and rub your back and give you good loving. Plus size women can be trifling. Hashtag trifling and plus size. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, please excuse me. I don't have this coffee. And your girl is on one, okay? Um, now y'all know I don't drink, so I have not had a drink today, but I was thinking of either getting me some Stella Rosa or I don't know. I want to have a drink though, like a nice cute little drink. It's raining and it's freezing. I had flip-flops. It was 90 degrees when I left Florida, girl. I had flip-flops on, but now, um... 
let me make sure ain't no remnants of breakfast but now that i'm over here i had to break out my boots and my fur girl but anyway i wanted to talk to you about seasonal you know and with it raining and with me coming to atlanta and being like wow i'm only six hours away i only traveled six hours north and within that six hours that i went north literally it's like a difference of 50 degrees can you guys believe that it's a difference of 50 freaking degrees like it was 90 degrees when i left home last night it got down to 45 degrees so yes it's cupping season but it ain't big girl season because we 365 i just felt like i needed to make that clear y'all look at my bracelets y'all know where this came from but anyway your girl is out here representing okay for y'all who love it when i represent i just want to let y'all know your girl is out here representing for the queendom when i came to, when i came to atlanta i said listen let me be cute because just in case i see some of my queens i don't want them to think i'm not representing so i'm out here representing for y'all i'm looking raggedy when i get home but when i'm out here in these streets i'm cute but anyway it made me think like wow we i didn't have to go very far to have such a big huge difference in the climate like it's crazy right and it made me think of seasonality and this the changing of the seasons i don't know if you guys know but i mentioned to you guys before that during this time of the year sometimes things get a little bit harder and sometimes things it seems to be like you get a little bit more pressure um there's a lot of excitement but then also apprehension and anxiety due to you know the holidays and everything that we have to go through with preparing for our in-laws and you know our family to come visit and just all the different things that we go through when it comes towards the end of the year they are estimating i don't know if you guys have been reading but i subscribe to forbes magazine and entrepreneurial magazines and stuff like that um they have them on uh K kdp publishing so like kindle so if you have a kindle or amazon and you kind of want to read magazines maybe you're not you know you don't want to deal with the traditional yes girl patch your weave ladies maybe you don't want to deal with like the traditional uh, magazine but they do have those things on um on kindle but i was reading that it was suspected for there to be like you want me to open the trunk daddy yeah. there you go <laughs> it was it was saying that there was suspected to be something like a billion dollars that was going to be spent this year doing the fall and winter months like what i call o and d did you find something um i'm doing car chains okay yeah. or i'm just doing a quick car share mm -hmm. but one of the things that I, I thought was interesting was like wow it's a billion dollars you know u.s spending was going to be happening happening this on o and d which is october november december or towards the end of the year Sorry, you guys, for the interruptions. Bae trying to talk to me. He don't care about y'all. <laughs> he don't care what I'm doing. He gonna talk to me. Um, but anyway, so one of the things that I've noticed, and that has definitely been difficult to with me, like I told you guys before, is seasonality, changes in seasoning, seasoning, seasons. I've also noticed that um, there's actually a disorder called I think it's called sad sad like seasonal something disorder where when the seasons change sometimes your mood can change like if you've had any experiences with like having a higher level of anxiety and depression with the changing of the seasons definitely let me know down below in the comments but what i wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit more was as it relates to how do we deal with the changing of seasons when it comes to our relationships with friends, sometimes family members, loved ones, relationships? I mean, I know for me recently, there's been a lot of people that have exited my life. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm very hurt about, uh, how, hurt about it because I really thought that they were gonna be forever friends. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the more people exit my life it seems like 
I've anticipated being a negative thing, but it's not been as negative as I thought about it. A lot of people tried to tell me that there were certain people that wasn't really truly my friend. And I definitely couldn't see it because when I love someone or I care about someone, I love and I care about that person, you know, to a fault. No matter what they've done, once, you know, it takes me a while. Like, I'm not a type of person that quickly grows attachment. You know, it takes me a while to be attached to people. And that just comes from abandonment issues and, you know, dealing with a lot of trauma and loss. You know, y'all know how that is. But when it comes to once I am attached to someone and I love someone, you know, I don't want to let that person go or throw them away just because they've done one thing wrong or they've made a mistake or just because, you know, they've done something less than ideal or less than perfect. So sometimes I've let bad relationships or people that I should have let go a lot sooner stick around. In one instance, you know, particular, it's been friendships for me. Um, I don't know if you guys have experienced that, but sometimes there are people that are in your life for a specific reason. You're even, either you're supposed to learn a lesson from that person or they're seasonal. They're supposed to get you from one place to the other, but they don't go into the next phase of your life with you. And sometimes we get stuck in places um, with the seasonality of it all. And we try to take people from one place to the next place to the next place. So like for me personally, I guess because I'm estranged from my family, all I have is my brother and Chris. Um, and, you know, sometimes Chris and I, we go through our ups and downs. You know, our relationship is anything. It's, it's, it's not perfect. It's far from perfect. I think that we have a, a lot of good, stable, firm, foundational things about us that's true. And um, I know that for me, I struggle, which I tell you guys about this all the time. And some people don't understand. I mean, even my brother, like, I like I can't talk to my brother about my relationship with any man, you know? Um, he doesn't have anything, like, he makes it seem to me sometimes as though, um, I don't know. I, I can't verbalize what I'm trying to say but it, when it comes to having a relationship with a man as a plus size person sometimes it can very it can be very difficult but not because of the reasons that you would think or anticipate that it would be for me I don't have a dip like I don't have a difficult time having men find me attractive I don't have a difficult time with men trying to approach me, especially sexually. Don't have a problem with that. But the thing that I've always struggled with, with dating, with friendships, with any types of relationship, is just feeling devalued and dehonored, you know? So I think that a lot of plus size people, when they find someone who they feel like, okay, I, I've been through so much. I've been hurt so many times. I've been in so many bad relationships, situationships, friendships. I've been betrayed. You know, there's been people who held positions in my life who were not the right. They were not the right people. You know, I've allowed the wrong people to stay too long and all of that. You know, we all have that that we go through. So sometimes when we're looking at a relationship or a friendship, it's not just from the place or the point of what we're dealing with at that time in the moment, but there's also residual feelings and residual circumstances that influence that relationship, situationship, or whatever you may call it, that also cause you to dig in deep and get roots when you really shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? If someone is in your life for a season or even a reason and they decide to leave, please don't hold them longer than they need to be. Let them go. You'll be surprised how things will grow and change and move in a positive direction once you let those people go out of your life. 
don't let people stay and take up permanent residence in your life when they don't deserve you and they don't deserve the friendship that you're offering them or they don't see value or they don't want to be sometimes people just don't want to be for whatever reason it's not personal um and i'm going to talk to you about that phrase because i cannot stand when a person tells me don't take this personal when someone tells me not to take something personal it's a huge huge red flag for me y'all this is the light so that's what you're seeing can y'all still see me even if i turn that light off so i can't stand it when someone says to me oh don't take this personal don't take that personal you know don't take it personal girl it's i don't mean it that way whenever someone tells me not to take something personal nine times out of ten it's a huge red flag because it's like what do you mean of course it's personal like of course but no when it come when i say don't take it personal about seasonal friends and seasonal relationship and people that come into your life for a season don't let permanent don't let temporary people take up permanent residence in your life i know it may be very hurtful and the reason that it's very hurtful is because you've equated a value that's associated with that person and you've lessened that value with yourself so somehow you feel like that connection or that relationship is more important sometimes than you and that's never i i don't know maybe it is but i've just never seen a circumstance or a situation where that's the case i i just haven't i have never seen a circumstance or a situation where something can be more important than the person at hand you know what i'm saying so that's just kind of difficult for me to see or for me to deal with but that's how i feel about it and it's very hurtful because there are people that are in my life now that I didn't think would be there this long. And then there's people that are in, that are no longer in my life that I cannot believe they're no longer in my life because I thought our friendship would last forever or I thought the relationship would be strong and it would make it past these things, but it, it haven't. And it's not necessarily this big, huge situation where it's like, oh, I hate you, get out. Sometimes it just phases out and it is what it is. And I just wanted to talk to you do you dolls because I know that a lot of times when I'm going through a situation, you ladies are typically going through the same thing. And you tell me, you know, you write me, you tell me, you let me know exactly what it is that you're going through. So I just want to encourage you and let you know that you are not alone and that even though you may seem lonely, you're not. There is someone, I don't know who it is. I don't know where they're coming from. But there is someone out there for everyone. And I don't care how big you are, big you are, how black you are, how brown you are, how white you are, how short you are, how big your legs are, or you know, what your limbs look like, or what your face looks like, or if you're like me and you're missing teeth, it doesn't matter. What matters is who you are as a person. We're coming into a time where people, yes, people suck, okay? Let's just be real. People suck okay they don't like fat people they discriminate against people based on how they look they don't give people a chance but let's be honest do you really want to be with these people do you want to be with people who don't value you or don't respect you or don't see you for who you really truly are do you really want to be around those type of people no no matter what size you are you want to be respected and you want it to be treated correctly and sometimes there's just fair weather friends there's people that when the, the wind blows left they go left when the wind blows right they go right and to me i think it's time for you to to shut the door permanently on those people but there also are people that are just seasonal they're the greatest people you ever want to meet, but they're not permanent. And it's time for them to go. And it's time for you to move on because through that, you're going to grow. You're going to grow through it and glow, G-L-O-W through it. Even though you're going through it, you're going to glow through it. There's a glow up coming. I mean, look at me. There's so many people that have left me that didn't think that I was going to be anything, that don't still don't think I'm worth anything. I mean, I was talking to someone the other day. Listen, let me tell y'all something. You have to really listen. When people talk to you, <clears throat> y'all listen to what I'm saying to you. Uh, hello? Sis, listen to me. 
when people talk to you and they talk at you, listen to what they say. Before you talk, listen. That's why you have two ears and one mouth. You're supposed to listen twice as much as you talk. Listen. People will tell you every single thing they really truly think about you if you listen to them. I was I was having a conversation with someone that I really thought was my friend. I really thought this person was my friend. And I went to talking to them about my YouTube channel and my growth and my business and you know things I've got something really special. Let me tell you something y'all. If you have not already join the Patreon, not just so you can be nosy, but listen, patreon.com forward slash joy more we are the royal queendom i'm telling you there's nothing but goddesses over there we have a group chat it's about almost 150 of us and we it's not annoying we don't get on each other's nerves but we support each other when it's when it's when it's getting three o'clock and you it is in, and you're not sure if you're gonna make it them last two or three hours and you just need somebody to send a picture of a cat or do something funny or show you they they glass of wine and they martini glass to just get you through the day that's what patreon is right now this week i'm not sure when you guys will have seen this but we're having a spa day together over zoom we're gonna have a wine and chill we're gonna have a plant and sip i mean we're doing all kinds of stuff and we have a really really big surprise coming for all of my patreon queens so i recommend you guys get in in patreon and stay in patreon because we got big things coming there was a little while where things slowed down in patreon and nothing was going on because you have you guys have to remember i'm working a full-time job i'm a full-time student i'm doing youtube instagram facebook you know what i'm saying i'm doing live cooking shows for you guys like and i'm doing patreon so if you go two or three days and you don't see me post on patreon it's not that I'm not active. I'm very active. But in Patreon, it's not like YouTube. I know a lot of you guys are passive watchers. So you like to just kind of sit back and watch. You don't want to participate. But Patreon is a place where you're one-on-one -on -one with me. One-on-one -on -one with me almost every day. I'm talking to you guys. We're on Zoom calls. We're building each other up. We're having meetings. We're having movie nights. We're watching TV shows together. We're reading a book together. Patreon.com forward slash Joy More for all of my Patreon queens. Or for all of my A1 Day, A Day 1 queens who want to join Patreon. Don't go over there just to be nosy because I will block you. If you on there and you ain't participating in nothing and you haven't emailed me and let me know. You know, because I have some queens that are going through medical school. There's some queens that are going through graduate programs. So they busy. That's different. But come on over there and participate, girl. Participate. But anyway... I was having a convers several conversations. I don't know why I got into my about my Patreon, but I was I was always having conversations with my Patreon girls and telling them how I feel, and it feels so good to be lifted up by them. But there comes sometimes where a bunch of people leave. They just leave for no reason. They're in the Patreon, and then all of a sudden they leave, right? And I'm like, where are they going? But I noticed that when people start leaving. The people who are left, the remnant, y'all, I could preach a sermon about the remnant. Put down in the comments if you know about that remnant, what God will do with the remnant. I'm a remnant, okay? When you, uh, I, got, I don't remember what I was talking about, what, but I want to tell y'all about this remnant. When you are a remnant person, if you're a remnant, you know what I'm talking about, okay? R-E-M-N-A-N-T. When you are a remnant, remnant is a scraps. It's the leftovers. It's what people seem like don't nobody want. When you're a remnant and you take that remnant and you make glory out of the remnant, God will do that. He's done it for me in my life. I was the remnant. I'm the one. I'm fat. I'm too dark. I'm too fat. I'm not attractive. I'm loud. I make other fat girls look bad. They don't support me. I'm in a relationship with an old white man. He's a fetish. I'm a remnant. The one that they talk about. But God will take the remnants and pick them up. Pick those pieces up. Put them together. And move mountains with them. Because look what he did with me. So don't forget about the remnant. But anyway. I was on the phone with someone. And I was talking to them about my YouTube channel. And my Patreon. And what I wanted to do. 
and where I was coming from and the plans that I had and you know just different things and they made some little smart remarks like they, they didn't think I caught it but I caught it girl I caught exactly what you said and I heard what you didn't say it when I'm telling you about sponsorship ships or sponsored content or I'm talking about where my where my channel is going to be in six months and you're making comments about what I don't have and what I'm not and how well I'm not doing and what needs to change or you know that lets me know right then you not you don't really you don't really like me right listen to what people say there will be people you'll tell like for, let me give you an example when it's time for somebody to go or when you have a seasonal friend i talked to you guys about the a snake in the grass um a, a wolf in sheep clothing but we got these seasonal people too and sometimes there's friends that come friends quote unquote right and they hide and they say oh yeah bro i'm with you i'll be there for you oh yeah i'm i'm, I'm, I'm right there and then when something go down, you don't see them for nowhere. And then on the other side of that, they got their little smart comment like, oh, well, girl, I didn't know how you was going to do that. Or I didn't think that was going to work. Or, oh, I'm so, you know, I'm so, I'm glad to see you. Oh, you still doing YouTube? Oh, I, I heard people don't really make no money with that, though. Or, um, oh, but you ain't got no real job, do you? Oh, I didn't know you had a role. Oh, girl, you work a role. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Oh, that's what you do? Oh, they make good money. Why would you? Oh, you got fired? Or you was getting laid off? Why would you want to stop doing that? Who said I stopped doing it? Because at first you said I didn't have a job. Then you find out what my job was. Or you see me at work. <laughs> and now it's like, oh, girl, I didn't know you was. Yeah, this was. Yeah, it's me. I'm working. What's up? Oh, well, can you hook me up? Oh, well, how you gonna do that job and do YouTube? I've been doing it for two years. Oh, you really work there, huh? Oh, you work from home? Just listen, y'all listen. When y'all telling y'all dreams and y'all goals and y'all thinking that these people is really for you or these people are walking out your life. Listen, if these people are walking out your life, let them go. Don't call them back. Don't go get them. Don't chase after them. Let them go. If they was a good person and you should have kept them, there's a lesson in that for you. If they weren't a good person and it was time for them to go, there's a lesson in that for you. Either way, when there's a lesson in our lives, we learn from our lessons and we grow from our lessons. And we have to watch these people who say that they are for us, but really they jealous. And they really don't like us. Or they only like us when we're not doing better than them. When you got to watch these people grow. And I know y'all be letting stuff slide. Y'all better stop letting stuff slide. And let these hoes go. Listen, y'all, I'm in Atlanta. Bay went and got us a little bit of a snack. Then I'm going to get me some wings. And I'm going back to my hotel. And I'm going to chill. I figured I owed you guys a, um, a car check. I am going to do a vlog. So I am blogging, so don't be surprised if you don't see this outfit. Ooh, and I got cold quick. And I lost my scroll. Hold on a minute. Don't be surprised if you don't see this outfit again, girl. But I just want to let you know that I support you a thousand percent. And you're not alone. And I know sometimes it seems like it's lonely out here. Okay? And I get that. It is. It's lonely out here. Especially when you are by yourself. And don't think just because I'm with Chris that I don't experience loneliness. Let me tell you something. There's nothing lonelier than being in a room full of people and still feeling by yourself. I experience loneliness. Girl, this straw ain't green, but we're going to have to go with it. I can't find my other straw, but anyway. I experience loneliness. So don't think that I'm telling you about something that I don't know about. But listen, I got to go. I love you guys to the moon and back. If somebody walks out of your life, let them go. I know it hurts right now, but you will not believe how higher you fly when there's less weight on your back.
Hello? You will not believe how higher you will fly when there's less weight on your back. Literally and figuratively. That's a word for one of you girls. I know what you've been going through. You've been going through it. <clears throat> you think that nobody knows. You think that you're alone. You think that you're by yourself. Sometimes you just be crying. You don't know why you crying. You be so stressed out. Let me be the first to tell you, you are not alone. And you know what? This isn't it. This that you're facing right now is not it. Hang on for a little while longer. Go a little bit further. Get a little bit stronger. Let that person walk away. Let them go. Don't try to hang on to somebody that don't want to be in your life. Because you know what? That's God purging them. Let it purge, girl. Let it burn. Oh, wait, I was going to say, you got it, you got it, babe, when you on the phone, hang up, and you're going raving. No, I was trying to say, what's that going? Um, let it go, let it breathe, let it go. Okay, anyway, <sighs> listen, girl, I'm finna go. It's getting darker and darker and darker and darker. I'm sorry about the quality of the light of this car chat. Um, Bay broke my light and my stand. So hopefully I'll get a new one soon. Listen, y'all, don't miss out. Yes, Bay. Don't miss out, you guys. Say hey to Bay. Hey guys. Just getting back. And Bay, you look kind of good. Mm, thank you. Mm. So listen, I love you guys to the moon a bit. And I will see you in the next video. Listen, if you here for the car chats, put it down below in the comments. If you in Atlanta right now, let me know where you at, girl. Let's have lunch. I love you to the moon and bed, and I will see you in the next video.